As the SMP struggle to deal with their financial scandal, new revelations confirm that the SMP government gave taxpayers money to businesses with links to the CCP in China. Yep, another dark update when it comes to our general establishment, the same problems that we had in Westminster, now in Holyrood and Scotland. So, as you guys know, the latest update we talk about every single day is uh, this financial corruption scandal and the investigation continues to bring us new updates and uh, revelations every single day. One part of it is about the SNP as a political party and the rest of it is about the SNP as in the Scottish government SNP. We had so many scandals with that, whether it was the ferry fiasco, whether it was the, the, the school closures, whether it was the, the private contracts and uh, the lockdown money that were don't know what they did with it, all the money that was given to them by the English taxpayers in Westminster. Now, this is actually about the lockdown days again. Uh, we have finally discovered that uh, just like similar problems we had in Westminster, that the money that the Scottish government were giving out to individuals and businesses wasn't vetted properly they did not really do proper due process and actually checking the people's backgrounds do you remember this uh, takeaway shop and this chinese restaurant uh lung fong and many others like this we actually a while ago exposed them as uh, the front to the chinese secret police stations in the uk and uh, we're going to cover that again in a second but one hundred sixty thousand pounds lockdown cash was given to these uh, CCP-linked businesses across Scotland, especially in Glasgow, and nobody is talking about it completely. I'm still waiting to see if uh, the investigation into the actual Scottish government, which was about the Ferrari fiasco and everything else, is going to expand into uh, to these areas or not. Is the Treasury and Jeremy Hunt going to be raising some questions? <laughs> Highly unlikely, but we'll see what happens with this. Now, a quick update on the, the police stations, in case you hadn't actually heard this before. Uh, China and the CCP have been uh, setting up these secret police stations across the world, by the way, in New York, in London, in Dublin, in Glasgow, uh, basically any, anywhere that you can see like on the map, um, all these countries, uh, most of Europe and Western Europe is covered. North America is covered, not in Mexico, because obviously China is fine with Mexico. But they have these uh, secret police stations in these countries to uh, crack down on their, their dissidents and uh, obviously do their spying operations that they do on a regular basis. Now, these businesses are fronts. So they, they, they are pretend to be like a Chinese restaurant or you know, shop or whatever. And behind the scenes, when you go to the to the back to the back room or the, the basement, you can actually see that there's more to it. And this story actually came out a while ago about the, the police stations. And yet at the same time, there hasn't been a proper crackdown against them. I wonder why. I'm not really sure what's going on. But at the same time, these same businesses have also been applying for grants and their lockdown support and relief and everything else like that. And nobody in the Scottish government did basic vetting to make sure that these are legitimate businesses and they're not going to send their money to China. Absolutely disgusting. The payments made between December 2020 and January 2022 uh, were, hand were handed to an alleged base for a secret police station acting on behalf of China's communist regime at Lun Feng. Okay, <clears throat> now, the uh, Spain-based human rights organization Safeguard Defenders has also said uh, that uh, Xi Jinping uh, uh, Xi Jinping and House uh, has links to Chinese to the Chinese state. Uh, they have been quoted as saying that Lung Feng is likely merely a phone number or front to act as a contact point for the Chinese to make inquiries. The stations are allegedly used to intimidate and silence dissidents. Okay, in this instance, the SNP run Glasgow City Council administered applications and determined if the criteria were met. All right, so that's what happened. Now we had uh, some people, including Russell Finley from the, the Conservative side, actually coming out and being completely outraged, saying it's important to know what due diligence was conducted prior to this public money being handed over. Who gave these grants the go-ahead and why? Businesses across Scotland were devastated by the financial impact of the pandemic and lockdowns and were often left waiting for support by the SNP government. <clears throat> they might well question why 
more than £160,000 was paid to businesses with sus suspected links to the Chinese state, which has a despicable human rights record, uh, crushes dis um, dissent, and outlaws free speech. And that's just the part of it. To be fair, the, the biggest issue I have with the CCP is that they want to bring down the Western civilization. <laughs> and that's a bigger concern than them shutting down free speech in Beijing or Shanghai. Anyway, this is the latest update, and I think it's very important to talk about this, and considering this has now been confirmed, these are not rumours, I, I would like to see some sort of reaction from the establishment, whether it's the British government, or the police, or MI5, somebody do something about this, because th this has happened before, even in London. The government is incompetent at everything. Sometimes they use the pretend incompetency as saying, well, we're just stupid, but at the same time, you have some dodgy people who are complicit, and they are taking advantage of this, uh, of the incompetence of the general governance of the country, and they are doing these things. Remember Dr. Fauci? Uh, Fauci's uh, uh, money giving to the uh, the CCP labs in Wuhan, nothing happened. Everything's fine. Everyone just continuing with their, with their lives because um, it was part of the state. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure to share this video. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.